But the war goes on. Happy 35 years to Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which was released around this time, March 2021, 20, in comic book shops in 1986. The magnus opus of Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. It was a four-part series that told the story of Bruce Wayne returning to vigilantism after 10 years retired. So imagine a grittier, jaded, and older Batman who pretty much sees Gotham back in a state of decay, of crime, and the superstitious and cowardly are out. So he decides to take matters into his own hands again when vigilantes are outlawed. So there he is in his blue suit. And eventually, he goes to the black and gray look and gets a new Robin too with Carrie Kelly, the first female Robin. So, hi guys, what's up? Timster here, and I'm here to talk about my feelings about The Dark Knight Returns, why it was such an important milestone and a must-read, much like Alan Moore's Watchmen. It pretty much redefined the comic book industry back in the late 80s and informed much of what we know about Batman today. Batman, actually, uh, everybody, before Michael Keaton's Batman came out, this also served as an inspiration. Uh, Batman was depicted as happy and campy and always had Robin the Boy wonder. Particularly, everybody knows Adam West's Batman, which was also great, but that interpretation was not dark or true to the to the dark nature of Batman, who was always broody. That's how he started out in 1939. And, well, now that uh, we know Batman today, he's more, uh, he's more sinister. He's more, he's more grim. And he doesn't really put a smile on his face unless, uh, well, uh, he's... He's happy. He has, to, he has his moments. So he's always so depicted as a dark and broody character. And we have this to thank. This is my Mafex, The Dark Knight Returns, black costume action figure, which I have not opened. I've gotten it and I've had it for the past couple of months. Uh, here it is. I actually want to open it one of these days. But as it is, I already have a representation of The Dark Knight Returns in action figure form thanks to Mattel's releases. A couple of years ago, here are Batman and Robin, older Bruce Wayne and Carrie Kelly, and here is the blue costume, which he wore first when he returned, because everybody knows him with the yellow oval. Then he became this, with the fat black bat costume, which actually inspired Ben Affleck's Batman. Actually, this is the, Zack Snyder's depiction of Batman in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and... Zack Snyder's Justice League is pretty much informed and inspired by Frank Miller's Batman. That's why when Kevin Smith was so happy to talk about Ben Affleck as Batman, he kept on referencing The Dark Knight Returns. And he's right. Uh, the Dark Knight Returns pretty much inspired Batman v Superman. When Batman fought Superman, he wore an armored costume, which was pretty much this. Also fought the Joker. But uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman was also inspired in part by The Dark Knight Returns. That's why the Dark Knight trilogy, when you watch uh, most of its story beats, it uh, it uh, rotates between uh, Frank Miller's tales in uh, Batman Year One and Batman The Dark Knight Returns, and also uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale's The Long Halloween, especially with the Harvey Dent angle. So... There's much about Batman that started out awesome in the modern age thanks to Batman The Dark Knight Returns. I cannot express my my satisfaction for watching this. There is even a DC animated movie that came out back in 2013, which featured the voice of uh, Peter Robocop Weller as Bruce Wayne Batman. How perfect is that? Even the way it's styled in that animated movie... Uh, the credits alone, it's very much Robocop. In fact, Frank Miller worked on the Robocop sequels, which wasn't really received well, but still, 
he had his hand in Robocop. He even did a comic book on Robocop. So all things come full circle when he uh, when his work, Batman the Dark Knight Returns, was adapted into an animated movie back in 2013. It was two parts, and eventually they made one full movie, the deluxe movie, which you can get in iTunes and other streaming services, and even home video if you want to go digital. But if you can get it in DVD or Blu-ray, do so. Actually, if you can find this in your local comic book shops or bookstores, uh, this deluxe edition 30th anniversary edition came with the blu-ray and dvd so it's a perfect package other than that what can i say uh ben affleck's batman as you can see here the tactical suit when you watch Zack snyder's justice league you can even see the bat tank in that film the bat tank of course came out from this movie so Zack snyder literally uh brought it to life visually but his movie interpretation of batman is very different from what we know in the comics so separate that but visually and the way they styled the costume and the look of batman by ben affleck it's inspired by the dark knight returns so 35 years and counting including sequels for the dark knight returns we had the dark knight strikes again which wasn't really very good would i recommend it so there is a deluxe saga book that you can get which has that storyline i wasn't a fan of it let's just say that it was messy and we didn't know where frank miller was going with it but a couple of years ago he went back to that world and released dark knight 3 the master race which was co-written by uh brian azarello and all of the artwork was done by andy kubert so that was really good along with backup stories so it was a return to form and of course uh this entire universe had its own year uh zero year two with uh all-star batman and robin which was never finished but that's where uh who do you think i am i'm the goddamn batman line came from it was written by frank miller and it was drawn by jim lee and i was after the art but the story uh, Frank Miller's Dark Knight universe is a different thing. So if you only had to read one, go for the original. Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Happy 35 years. And maybe we'll revisit it again sometime. But right now, uh, it's informed a lot of properties. All modern Batman stories have this as an inspiration. And the depiction of Batman is pretty much in line with how Batman was depicted here. A detective, the, back to his dark roots, broody and of course there's the movies the dark knight trilogy of course you can watch and happy birthday to commissioner gordon gary oldman who's celebrating his birthday around this time march 21 and of course Zack snyder's justice league is now streaming i talked about it already in a previous video review it's great go watch it four hours though so plan your viewing experience and bathroom breaks and bring some food well, stay safe, of course. Always wear a mask or stay home and watch it. Read these books or read it online. You can also get it digitally through the DC Comics app. And as a Batman fan, as a Batman cosplayer, it was an honor, actually, to cosplay the character or Batfleck with this book as a guide, as something to keep me in that mindset. And, uh, you know, the lines like, I want you to remember... The one man who beat you against Superman. Or the war goes on. Happy 35 years. I'll see you guys next time. Do follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For my other social media adventures. And I'll be back for more reviews. And stuff about pop culture or whatnot. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.